Today's story is This Farm is a Family, written by Dan McKernan, illustrated by Denise Hughes. And I'd like to say happy birthday to one of my granddaughters. Happy birthday, Rue. You are five years old today. I love you. And happy birthday to anyone else who is celebrating a birthday today. All the animals at Barn Sanctuary are excited when Farmer Dan tells them a new cow named Buttercup is coming to the farm. Little Dude the pig wonders if she likes mud parties. Ginger the sheep is looking forward to having a new friend to snuggle with. And Mike the cow hopes Buttercup is gentle and sweet like him. But when Buttercup arrives, she doesn't want to play, and she definitely isn't snuggly or sweet. Some of the animals wonder if Buttercup is just mean. But Hugo the goat thinks he knows why Buttercup is so anxious and afraid. It will take everyone to help Buttercup get over her fears, because no matter what, farm families stick together. And my granddaughter Rue is a lot like me. She loves and cares about all animals. It was a beautiful day at Barn Sanctuary, and the pasture, mud puddles, and pens were overflowing with happy animal sounds. <coughs> Crowed Roy the rooster. That woke little dude, who grunted and stretched, splashing mud onto Mike, who let out a loud moo, which made Ginger stir and ba a morning greeting to Twitch, who did his silly little goat dance. Just then, Mike heard something in the distance. Farmer Dan is coming, he shouted. Mike was blind, and his horns were a bit lopsided, but his hearing was great. He loudly mooed again to greet his best bud. Do you see Farmer Dan walking in the distance? Farmer Dan gave Mike a good chin scratch and got a big wet pig smooch from Little Dude. <sniffs> Farmer Dan loved all the animals at the sanctuary, from the pigs, turkeys, and donkeys, to the ducks, chickens, sheep, and goats. They were all special and together made one big happy family. And this family gathered around Farmer Dan, waiting to hear his big news. We have a new cow coming today, Farmer Dan announced. Her name is Buttercup. The chorus of excited moos, oinks, gobbles, quacks, baas, and brays that followed made Farmer Dan laugh. You guys are awesome. Okay, gang, I'm off. Lots to do to get ready for Buttercup. The animals sure are excited to meet Buttercup. Are you also? As Farmer Dan drove away, the animals all began talking at once. Little Dude squealed. Let's throw her a giant mud party. Or how about an egg-sighting egg hunt? Stanley the turkey suggested. I'm just happy to have a new friend to snuggle with said Ginger. Buttercup, Mike sighed. She sounds so gentle and sweet. Do you think she likes tickles? Buttercup is a sweet name. I wonder if she does like tickles. But on a different farm on the other side of town, Buttercup wasn't thinking about parties or egg hunts and certainly not snuggles or tickles. She was in the middle of a temper tantrum. She snorted, kicked, and pawed the ground, especially if anyone tried to get close. Buttercup hadn't trusted anyone since her farmer died. Farmer Dan hoped she would feel better at the sanctuary. But when he arrived to pick her up, Buttercup did not want to get into the trailer. or in her new pen at Barn Sanctuary. Well, the mud party's out. I don't think she snuggles. Tickles would be too risky. That cow is mean, shouted Steve the goat, who startled everyone. Steve had a habit of appearing out of nowhere. 
I don't know, said Hugo the one-horned goat, as he watched Buttercup anxiously pace. Maybe she's just having a bad day. We should let her know we're friendly. We mean no harm, Stanley said loudly. Seriously, Stanley? Little dude snorted. She's not an alien. Well, since a smile is a friend maker, let's all do that, Ginger said. That's so nice that they're all trying to make Buttercup feel welcome at the sanctuary. So the gang inched closer to Buttercup and grinned from ear to ear. Uh Uh-oh, look at Buttercup. Did it work? (coughs) The next day, the animals were back, determined to try again. Stanley displayed his handsome feathers. Buttercup was not impressed. Little dude took her some hay, but Buttercup bellowed so loudly that it blew back the hairs on little dude's chin. Hugo, Ginger, and Mike brought Buttercup gifts, too, but that didn't end well. What would you do to make Buttercup feel more welcome? The animals wondered, was Buttercup just a mean cow? They didn't really know but they did know for certain she didn't want them around, so they decided to stay far away. Then one day, Little Dude became curious and snuffled over to Buttercup's pen to sneak a peek at her. Where is that grouchy cow? he wondered. Buttercup's gone! Little Dude shouted. Everyone came running. Where did she go? asked Ginger. I don't know, but we have to find her, said Mike. We do? asked Stanley. Of course. She's prickly, but she's still part of the family, Mike gently reminded them. The others agreed and raced to find the missing cow. Where do you think she is? Poor Buttercup was stuck. She didn't know whether to bellow or cry, scared she'd be stuck forever. Don't worry, Buttercup, we'll help you, the animals all shouted. They tried and they tried to unstick the poor cow, but nothing worked. Suddenly, Steve popped up out of nowhere, right under Buttercup's nose. What's up, Buttercup? The startled cow jumped and jerked and ended up twisting herself right out of the fence. She was free. In their excitement, the animals surrounded Buttercup and gave her a giant group hug. Oh, look at Buttercup. What do you think she is thinking? You've all been so sweet and kind, said Buttercup, and I've just been angry and scared and... Grumpy? asked Steve. Yes, grumpy. So why did you help me? Because that's what families do, Mike replied with a big smile. Then he heard a sound in the distance. Here comes Farmer Dan. So there's my new buddy. Farmer Dan said as he walked up and gave Buttercup a neck scratch. How about we all head over to the pasture and stretch our legs? A chorus of excited moos, oinks, gobbles, and baas told him that was an excellent idea. So that's what they did. And as they frolicked together in the green grass, Buttercup couldn't help but smile, knowing she had found a new family and her forever home. By the way, this is an actual place in Chelsea, Michigan. It is a sanctuary to over 100 rescued farmed animals, including cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys, ducks, sheep, and goats. Do you see the picture of Ginger, Buttercup, Little Dude, and Mike? I hope you enjoyed this story. And happy birthday, Rue. I love you.